Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to get the most out of your Logos Bible software for faster, more efficient searches. So I wanna to talk to you about some shortcuts and some quick trips that's gonna help you use this software better. Now, this is not so that we can rush through our study. It's not so that we can just blaze through it and not put in the effort and the time that a really good Bible study deserves. This is so that we can make the most of our time, so that we can be good stewards of the precious time that God has given us and use our time to the best and to its fullest. And it'll make you more efficient and make your Bible study faster so you're doing less time-wasting activities and get into the most important part, the study, quicker. So I'm hoping that this will just help you dig a little bit deeper into Logos and master it a little bit better to become a more efficient, more effective professional in studying God's Word. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside Logos 8. Now there are a few obvious shortcuts like saving your favorite layouts, which you can do by clicking in the top right corner where they have the layout bar. It looks like a few different size, uh, like a rectangle and a couple squares over there and there's some different layouts you can save. There's also things like using saved guides, which by the way, I have my own sermon prep guide that I'll link to in the description if you're interested in that. It's like a workflow that will help you out. You can even drag some of your favorite resources into the shortcut bar. It's kind of to the right of the tools menu on the top middle. Those are, those are some of the obvious ones, right? But today what I really, really want to focus on are some of the time-saving tricks in Logos Bible software that aren't so obvious to everybody, that mainly deal with what's called keyboard shortcuts, which is basically means that you're using buttons on the keyboard to access these quickly. Now with any software, especially like a pro level high-end software like Logos, like a professional computer software, what you're gonna want to do is learn keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are your best friend. And at first it seems a little intimidating. You gotta learn all these different commands. It's like back in the day, if you ever played like, <laughs> dating myself a little bit, but be like you ever played Super Nintendo and you had to learn all the, uh, all, the, all the moves where they used to have to, like if you're playing game like Street Fighter, you'd have to learn all the special moves for your, for your favorite character that you're playing with. Or you'd learn the cheat codes that you'd put in before the game, you know, up, down, left, right, start, select, all that stuff, right? If you had to learn those things, that's kind of what you're doing for these computer programs. You are learning the special codes that are built in that are gonna save you time and a couple quick presses of a keyboard button are gonna save you so much time. So whatever program you're using, this is just a general tip for using a computer. Whatever program you're using, if it's a professional level program that you are using day in, day out, whether that's a word processing program, whether it's a spreadsheet program, whether it's a video editor, uh, or, or even something like Logos Bible Software, you wanna learn some of those keyboard shortcuts, some of those cheat codes that are gonna help you navigate the program a whole lot faster. And the reason is, if you think about it, every time you have to move the mouse to click on a menu, to find a drop down, to uh, then find another menu, to find the option you're looking for, that takes time. And every mouse click and every drag and every time you're searching for something, those are precious seconds that you are wasting. But if it's a command that you're constantly doing, something you do all the time over and over and over again, if you can do a quick one or two key button press that automatically does that process for you, yeah, it saves you like a second or two in the short run, but in the long run, if you're working on that program for hours, it can save minutes, shave minutes off your time. And over the course of a year, you're talking about shaving hours off of your workflow because you just memorized those shortcuts. Now, before I get into those, I just wanna say that Logos has not sponsored this video. However, the generous people at Logos are really awesome and they have provided an exclusive discount just to my audience at Pro Preacher. So the discount changes sometimes based on different sales and different seasons, but right now, if you use the discount code PROPREACHER8, like Logos8, like the number eight, right? So no spaces, PROPREACHER8, if you use that discount code right now, you can get 20% off any of the Logos packages. So if you haven't got it yet and you wanna get one, or if you wanna upgrade the current package you have, you can get 
20% off right now with Pro Preacher 8. And you also get five free books. So that's just free books right there, which is awesome to, to beef up your library. Because Logos, the more resources, the better resources you have, the more effective and the better it's going to be for you. So check it out if you're interested. Also, big thing to note is they do have a free package available now. So if you just want to try it out, you've never used it before, check out that free package, try it out. And then when you're ready to upgrade, use my code ProPreacher8 and you're going to get your discount. It's going to be all good. And they have packages for everybody. For the base level, for more affordable packages, you can start there. And then as you feel like you want to upgrade, then you can go ahead and upgrade. And they don't charge you anymore. Um, they, they discount the books that you already have from your existing library. And then they just charge you based on the extra books that you'll be adding when you upgrade. So really good deal. That's what I love about Logos. You can go as cheap as getting started for like a hundred bucks or with my code, like 80 bucks, or you can go all the way up to thousands of dollars to get a huge, massive seminary level resource library. All right, so let's get into it. The first keyboard shortcut that I want you to learn is the quick library access, okay? So your library is all the books that you have. So normally if you wanna find something, you gotta go click on that icon in the top left corner that looks like a bunch of books, and then you've gotta search for your books. But if you really are in the middle of studying and uh, you want to just do a quick access to that, this is an important one that you wanna learn. Just hit on a Mac, Command L, and I believe on a Windows that would just be Control L instead of the Command button. Uh, and that just brings up your library immediately. So say you're in the middle of studying Matthew chapter seven and you're going through some stuff and you're like, man, I would really love to pull up a commentary. Just hit that quick command L, library pops up. You can type in Matthew and you're gonna see a bunch of stuff for the book of Matthew that you have in your library. All right, here's another one that's really, really helpful. Command option L. What command option L is gonna do is gonna get you access to your quick search. So next to your library in the top left-hand corner, you see your library stack of books. And then next to that, you see the little magnifying glass and that's your search bar. The search bar is incredibly powerful when you learn how to use it. If you're looking for something real quick, if you're doing a quick study, if you wanna find information about a certain topic or anything, you wanna use that search bar. Rather than scrolling up to do it, if you're in the middle of your study, just hit command option L and automatically you'll see the cursor immediately is in that box. So say you're reading through the Bible and all of a sudden you're like, you know what, I really need to do a study on faith. Command option L, type in the word faith, and all of a sudden you've got your options to do faith. Now here's some cool tricks that you need to learn, okay? And this is like a two-parter for this. Yeah, you could just click up on the box and type in faith if you want to, but if you do the command option L, hit faith, then if you just wait a second, you'll see that faith uh, that the search bar will pull up a bunch of different options. You've got layout options, so you wanna do a study the topic of faith. Or if you look below where it says search, you can actually search for things like faith, or you can search for faith in uh, maybe your more common Bible version. So mine says search for faith in the English Standard Version, or you can search in everything. Um, and if you look to the right of that, there's actually commands, keyboard shortcuts that you can use. So one of my favorite things if you're looking for like a keyword like faith, you just want to look, it says control enter to search for faith. So I'll hit, you'll type in faith after you hit command option L, then you just hit control enter. And now it's going to immediately pull up a search for every verse in your tra current translation that you use, your most common translation, which you can select. And you're going to find every occurrence of the word faith faithful, faithfulness. It's all going to be pulled up every verse in the Bible where you see that word occur. And that is a super powerful study that you can do in seconds. All right, here's another really awesome one. Say you're in the a, a deep search and I've got my Bible translation pulled up over on the right side of the screen. On the left, I've got some different study Bibles and commentaries and also different translations of that. They're all linked together. So makes my study real quick and easy layout. But say you're studying a book in the Bible and you want to jump to another verse. The best way to do this and the quickest way to do this is to learn the keyboard shortcut for your reference box. So know your reference box shortcut. Now all that is, is tab. So just hit the tab button on your keyboard. Immediately you will see that the reference box, which is the little search bar within whatever reference window you're using will be highlighted. And then you can just type in whatever you wanna to go to. So I'm in Genesis six here right now and I can type in John three sixteen, 
and immediately I jump to John 3.16. But say I'm in John 3.16, I don't want to be in John 3.16 anymore. I want to go to Luke chapter 1. I can just type that in, and there I go. It's pretty awesome. All right, this next one isn't really a keyboard shortcut, but it's, it is a shortcut for using less typing on your keys, and that is use Bible abbreviations when you're searching. Logos provides a list of Bible abbreviations that they find acceptable, but basically, for most books of the Bible, you can type in a two or three letter reference abbreviation for that book of the Bible and it'll take you right to it. So for Matthew, for example, instead of typing Matthew, you can just type in MT and it'll take you right to it. Or you hit tab and you just type in, if you want to go to Luke, just type in LK. You go to Luke, tab. You want to go to John, type in JN. You're in the book of John. Learn those Bible book abbreviations because then instead of hitting a whole bunch of keyboards or typing in Ecclesiastes, you can just hit tab EC. You don't have to worry about spelling Ecclesiastes the right way. For most books of the Bible, the general reference is you can use mostly the first two letters, sometimes the first three letters of the book of the Bible. Uh, there's a few that are a little bit more tricky. Also, here's another cool little trick that you need to learn about using abbreviations is instead of using spaces, you don't need to use spaces in logos. It'll understand. So if you want to go to John 3.16, you can just have John 3.16 and it automatically corrects it for you. So you don't have to hit that extra keyboard stroke. Another tip that you want to do is instead of using the colon to separate verses, just use a period. So instead of typing in John space three and then hitting shift in the colon button and then 16, you can just type in your JN3 period one six and immediately you're going to go to that verse or say you want to go to hebrews chapter 12 verse two there you go a lot faster than typing the whole thing in saves you keystrokes again i know this is a little nitpicky but every little keystroke is saving time you're shaving fractions of seconds off of your searching and the more comfortable you get with it the more familiar you get with it the faster you get at it and the more efficient you're going to be all right now here's a few other little tricks that you need to know. So say you are in Romans 1 verse 1, but you want to go to verse 18. If you just type in 18, hit tab and just hit 18, all of a sudden you jump from verse 1 to verse 18. So if you just type in a number, it'll jump right to that verse. Tab, verse 2, boom. It jumps right in to that verse. So it's a really quick way just to navigate through. So say you're in Psalm 119 and you're in verse 1, but you want to jump into verse 100. Just hit tab 100, you're jumping right to Psalm 119, verse 100, longest book of the Bible. Lots of verses. It'll navigate you through there really quick, but no, you want to go to 30, verse 32 instead. There it goes. So you can just quickly type in a number. It'll jump between verses in whatever chapter you're in. But if you want to jump to another chapter, you can just jump quickly by pressing the first the chapter number and then the verse It'll jump to whatever that chapter and verse number is in whatever book you're in. So if you're in Psalm, you type in tab 54, 1, it'll just jump real quick to Psalm 54, verse 1, or tab 1, 2, it'll jump in right into Psalm chapter 1, verse 2. And so you don't have to retype Psalms every time that you're going into it. So typing just the number jumps between verses, typing the chapter number and then a period and then the verses will jump you to the chapter and verse. All right, another quick tip I wanna show you. Okay, say you're in Proverbs 1.1 in the English Standard Version, you're reading through it and you see a little footnote and there's a little quick reference and you can look at the footnote and see some of the quick references, but you wanna do more study than that. You don't wanna just read, if you highlight over it, you can see it, but you wanna do more than that. You wanna open another version uh, of this in another window. All you have to do is hold down Command and then click on something and drag it and you can automatically open up a window that it'll place wherever you drag it. So you can open up a whole second version of that scripture. Or if you just wanna do another copy, so say I have my English Standard Version on the right side window, but I wanna open up another uh, ESV in the left side, you just hold down Command, click on the top, drag, and it automatically duplicates the window. So this is incredibly helpful when you wanna compare uh, multiple verses in different chapters, or if you want to look at different translations of the Bible. Now, here's a cool trick too. When you're in that second window, if you just hit right or left on the keyboard, it'll automatically switch to whatever the next 
thing is in your library based on your order of preferences. So you can actually uh, set your order of preferences and you can customize it. But if I hit right on the arrow key, it jumps all of a sudden to the NIV, or then if I hit it again, it's the NASB, or then it's the NRSV, or then it's the King James version, or then it's the New Living Translation. And so I can just scroll through translations and look at different translations just by hitting right or left on the keyboard. Another really cool quick trip. So hold down that command button and you can duplicate a window. You can open up one tab, you can hit right or left on the arrow, and all of a sudden you can open up different translations, or you could use the same translation. All right, so there you have it. Those are just some really quick, quick shortcuts that are gonna help you make the most out of your Logos Bible software. Learn those, practice those. At first, it will be a bit clunky. At first, you might forget and go back to some old habits, but I promise you, if you keep practicing them, you're gonna get better and better at it. It's gonna become second nature. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna be navigating Logos like a pro, doing study that would take you hours to do, pulling up books off shelves and opening them up and finding different resource references. You can do that in seconds or so the few uh, button presses on your keyboard and you are gonna be studying at lightning fast speed, being more efficient, making the most out of your time and making the most for God's glory. So hope you find that helpful. Get out there and try it. And again, if you want to get Logos, if you've never had it before and you wanna get it, use the discount code ProPreacher8 at checkout to save 20%. Also, you can try it out for free if you've never done it. Or if you're looking to upgrade, check that out as well. Thanks for watching. Keep on preaching. I'll catch you later.